Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the number system conversion from BCD to ASCII. So with the help of 8086 assembly language. So we will be discussing in terms of software as well as hardware programming, how we can able to do that one. So first we can enter and we can able to see how this BCD and ASCII is going to look like. So this is your key. It is going to be starting from zero to nine. So after getting zero to nine, so ASCII colons, which you are going to see here, it is going to start from 30. So corresponding value of your, so this is your BCD. So that the value of uh, zero is going to be zero, zero here. And after that value of zero, one is going to be, uh, so it is going to be zero, 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 one, uh, zero, two, zero, three, like that it is going to take its position. So if that is the case, if it is going to be zero, three, equivalent uh, ASCII values is going to be 33. So if an value of uh, 0, 03 is given to your program, it has to get the value of 33. So it looks like very easy logic. So only thing uh, as like we have seen in our previous uh, video, here also we have to separate those things and we are going to manipulate it. So if I am going to have in terms of two uh, digits, so uh, we can able to see with examples. So in this, I can able to start with an example of uh, assume that I am going to take the value of 98. So this is going to be my uh, BCD. So if it is going to be in terms of decimal, so I can able to see like this 1001 uh, binary equivalent. So in terms of 8, it is going to be 1 double triple 0. So this is the equivalent of this one and this is the equivalent of this one. So if I am going to give the value of 98, so I should be getting my uh, ASCII equivalent. So if it is going to be ASCII equivalent, so corresponding value of 9 should be 39 and corresponding value of 8 should be 38. That is the logic. So if 98 is given, I have to get two values of 39 and 38. So equivalent is going to be 39, 38. So that is how uh, we have to plan our uh, logic. So in this logic, uh, if an uh, equivalent is already given, so first we have to split as usual with your uh, BCT to hexadecimal. I have to separate my ones and tens. So if it is going to be 98, so I have to separate my nine and eight. So this is going to be zero nine and this is going to be zero eight and I have to add my 30 to it. So it is going to be 38 and it is going to be 39. So both the equivalents I can able to get it and I can able to do the manipulations. So we can use the same logics which we have used in your uh, hexadecimal to uh, BCD to hexadecimal but here we will try to do with some different logic so that we can able to see some different instructions to do the same operations. So if it is going to be uh, trying to uh, get those values separate those values, unpack those values. So this is called as pack BCD. This is going to be unpacking. So unpacking means you are going to separate your uh, digits into two uh, separate digits. So if that is going to be uh, separated and if you want to uh, make use of that, so what are the things I can able to do that to separate it? So as in the same program, I have to and operation of 0F and F0, both the things I can do. So that also uh, can work. So we can try with some um, other operations also so that we can able to uh, do that uh, same operations and we can able to make use of it. So here if I want to make it so 98 if I am going to make use of my AND operation with 0F so we have already seen I can able to directly enter it so it is going to be 08. So if you want to calculate it you can able to make use of the calculations and you can see so it is going to be uh, 98, right? So it is going to be 1001. So 1000 is going to be 0000. And after that, 1111. If that is the case, it is going to be 1000. And it is going to be AND operations. So all these things are getting 0000. So it is going to be 08. Each and every individual bit operations. So I can able to separate my 98 with F0. But we can able to try with some different logic. So how I can able to uh, try with some separate different logic. So there is one uh, instruction SHR you might have seen in your assignment. 
so shr it is going to shift right so this shift right operation we can able to use only one instruction to uh, complete the operation uh, unlike your uh, making use of your uh, f0 if you are going to making use of your f0 you can be able to get our 90 so if that is your 90 after that you have to rotate it right so instead of it i can able to use only one instruction to do that operation so in that case uh, if it is going to be shift right so the elements which are going to see correspondingly uh, to my 1001 after that 1000 so if i am going to shift it for four times what is going to happen so if it is going to be shift operation your msb is going to be occupied by zero so first shifting so it is going to be 100 zero, zero, and this one is going to be taken this place 00, zero. and this msb next shifting your msb become one more zero so that it can able to happen in terms of zero one one zero and in terms of your next operation it is going to be zero 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 one and after that it is going to be zero zero one one so fourth shifting so it is going to be zero 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 and this one is going to be one zero zero one and this one is getting discarded so your elements finally you can able to see your elements are going to be zero and this one is nine so instead of doing addition of f0 use of my 90 and after that i am going to rotate it uh, four times i can able to make use of this operation to uh, do that uh, shifting operation and i can able to make use of it to make my 09 to come here so i have separated my 08 here and i have separated my 09 here now next we can able to simply add my uh, 30 to it and i can able to uh, show the individual operations so if i am going to move this 08 to al this is going to be al and the 09 to ah so simply i can able to add 3030 and i can able to show it as 39 and 38 that's it i can able to complete it so one more logic which we can able to see here so instead of doing addition operation i can able to do or operation also so we can able to see 0908 uh, so if it is going to be or operation it is going to be doing in terms of individual bits right so if it is going to be 0 0 0 0 and 9 is going to be 1 0 0 1 and after that one your output 0 0 0 0 and 8 is going to be 1 0 0 0 right so in this case it is going to be 30 so 0 0 1 1 after that 0 0 0 0 so 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 so at last how we can able to see that so just do your or operation if it is going to be or operation if any one uh, one is present in your operation it is going to get its value of one so zero 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 one 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 zero zero so one zero zero one 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 zero zero correspondingly if you are going to see that one it is going to be giving the element of three oh, sorry this is going to be giving the element of three and this is going to be giving the element of nine and this is going to be giving the element of three and this is going to be giving the element of eight so you can able to make use of your add operator or you can able to make use of your or instruction with the help of 3030 both the things are going to do the same job so you can able to try for both the logics and you can able to get your output and you can able to see how it works right so in this case uh, first we will see with our uh, emu8086 program how it is being uh, done and we can able to move to the next programs so we will see with the logics so i think it, okay so this is going to be so this old logic rotate on uh, right so you can able to see with our program directly so you can able to see with our program directly so i can able to get inside my program after that i can able to close the things open so it is going to be bc to ascii so i can able to see the codes which i have given so al is going to be taking the address from 2000 and after that it has been moved into al so al value is moved to ah so after that 0f is going to take the uh, values of 08 
uh, uh, making AND operation with AL, it is going to take the value of 08. And after that one, SHR is going to take the value of 09. So shifting for four times. And after that, doing OR operation or AND operation. So you can able to do any operations and you can able to move that value to some specific location where you can able to see your result. So I can able to run this program. So I have given the location of 2000. So I can able to move to that specific memory location. Memory. So in that, the starting address which I have given is at 2000. So I can able to give the memory location of 2000 and I can able to update. So it is updated and after that one, I have to give the value. So I have given the value of 98, right? So 98, so updated. And after that one, I'm going to execute step by step, how you can able to see your results in terms of step by steps. So first it is going to move the value to AL. And after that one, it is again going to move the value to AX. So next one and operation of 0 AF so that it is going to separate my 8. So 8 is getting separated. And after that one, uh, 0 4 to make uh, 4 uh, shift operations. So after that one, after shifting, I am getting 0 9. So 0 9 and 0 8 is getting separated. And after that one, OR operation of 3 0 3 0 or AND operation of 3 0 3 0. So our operation of 3030 it is going to get the value of 39 and 38. So after that one I can able to put it in the memory values so that I can able to see that. So if it is going to be 39, 38 I can able to see my results as 38 and 39 in my memory locations. So this is with respect to our uh, software programming. So we can able to finalize the logic and we can able to move to the kit programming. So after moving into kit programming so we can able to see one by one. So here uh, we can able to see uh, the programs in the same logic which I have already uh, coded so that I can able to directly see the results, see the instructions. So starting address I have given as 3000. So in the 3000 I am going to get inside. So AL is going to get the value of 2000 and after that move to AH and value with 0F and move with CL and after that SHR AH, CL or AX comma 3030 and after that move to the specific memory location 2010 and after that halt. So completes my instruction and after that one I have to get the location of SB 2000 in that I am going to put my values of 98 again typing my 98 enter so reset and after that I have to execute my instruction go starting address of my program which is going to be 3000 executing reset sb and i can able to move to the specific memory of 2010 and i can able to see the value of 38 and 39 in my next values so this is how we can able to convert my uh, bcd values into ascii values thank you for your present listening